Hey folks, it's Daniel the Vape Man here. And that was a dry hit. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing two more reviews from uh, Ohm Vapors Salt Nick Line. Today we're going to be doing Milk and Honey and uh, Brew Raspberry. Um, so first off, uh, let's start with Milk and Honey. Um, both are really good, so just preference. Milk and Honey is amazing. Um, a lot of times with these Milk and Honey or Tea and Honey kind of deals, it's very muted flavor. Um, this is not the case. On my Salt Nick device, I've had it on the Miko, and the flavor with the ceramic coils, and the flavor is absolutely insane. It's, it's kind of like... Um, graham crackers or those honey bears back in the day but there's a little bit more emphasis on the honey there's a lot of honey flavor in there but then you also get the crumminess of like the graham crackers and all that absolutely delicious it is easy to vape all day i've been vaping it for two days straight absolutely love it um i guess at the end i'll rank them but they're all really good i haven't had a bad one yet um Really good honey, not super, super, super sweet, but super, uh, but pretty sweet. Uh, and the milk part, it, 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 you get a little bit of a, you know, um, a little bit of creamy vibe to it, but it's mostly tea. I also get a lot of breadcrumb vibe from it, but it, once again, most of the, I said tea, most of the focus is on honey and it's really good. Easy to all va vape all day. It's in that realm of where it's sweet, but not too sweet to vape all day and not under sweeten where you can't vape it all day. It's just perfect, easy, perfect amount of sweetness, perfect amount of flavors, really good flavor on 24 Nick. It's pretty much like, you know, vaping three Nick and it's on Amico, which doesn't have better flavor than this. Uh, the Nord, Smock Nord. Uh, you can check out my reviews and comparisons on them. I think I'm going to be doing Miko versus, uh, I'm charging my Miko right now, but I think I'm going to do Miko versus Nord just to get out of the way. Um, both devices are awesome. I just want to kind of talk about what would be better for you, in my opinion. Uh, I love them. I didn't think I would like the Miko. I literally bought it just because I was bored. Uh, the other one is the Blue Raspberry Candy kind of slushy vibe. Um, I can't remember the exact name, but it's the Blue Raspberry uh, by Ohm's Vapor. 24 Salt Nick, really good. Uh, I ate Blue Raspberry flavors uh, typically, but I do love Smoke D's had a Blue Raspberry. I think I reviewed that. I still got to review two more. I'm so behind on reviews. I apologize. I'll double check and see if I did do a review on that. I believe I did, uh, but... It, it, it's basically the same kind of vibe, a little less focus on the slushy and more focus on just blue raspberry as a whole. I get more of a blue raspberry, like kind of candy, but fresh, authentic vibe to it. Um, really flavorful, but as typical with blue raspberries, uh, very repetitive. Um, very repetitive. I do like it and I'm able to vape it all day, but I've been leaning towards my Miko because it has the milk and honey in there and with the perfect rip on the Miko you get this nice warm milk tea vape I keep saying tea milk and honey vape and it's absolutely fantastic I've been having the blue on here and I'm not too big of a fan of it uh, in comparison to milk and honey I do like it but I kind of like uh, I wish it had a little bit of menthol or you know, blue raspberry flavors for me are typically repetitive. If you do like blue raspberry, it's a damn good blue raspberry. And I can vape blue raspberry, you know, half the day or once out of every five times I use the Miko. The Miko is just easier at work. You turn it on, you hit it, and you throw it back in your pocket. It doesn't make too much clouds. It's really easy to get a nice, clean, quick rip off of that. Where Nord, you got to turn it on and all that. Uh, so that's part of the reason I've been using the Miko a little bit more that has the milk and honey in it. But I've been, uh, I've put two tanks in here. This is the second one. And I filled it up in the morning. And well, damn, I haven't even made a dent in it. You can't really see, but it's basically right there. So I didn't really make a dent in it, but I still like it. It's a really good blue raspberry flavor. I just can't vape blue raspberry flavors all day. I don't know why. I'm just not a big blue raspberry kind of guy. I'm not a... Really, any berry, uh, like blackberry, 
uh, raspberry, cranberry. Um, those I know I'm not a fan of. I'm more of a blueberry, strawberry kind of guy. Um, but it's really good for what it is. So if you do like, you will love it. I give milk and tea. Here. You might as well add tea to it now, but it doesn't have tea. It's milk and honey. I don't know why I keep saying that because I have milk tea by Squeeze that I got to review. Really good juice. Um, I forgot what I was going to say about it, but uh, yeah, really good juices on both lines. I would give milk and honey a 9 out of 10. Um, Mimitation on it is fairly accurate, 90%. Can't compare it to the regular free base juice because I've never had it for both of these. I can't compare it. Sorry. Um, but these juices are really good, and I think I might, you know, talk to them and pick up the salt nick free bases that I do like. Um, <coughs> in comparison to what I like from Own Vapors, I would definitely give Blue Raspberry like a 6 compared to every, the other five juices I've tried so far all have been amazing absolutely love the strawberry one can't remember the name right now but I tested it out absolutely love fruity divine or pebbles divine absolutely love mindful monkey milk and honey uh, the raspberry I like but just not in comparison to those there's one more that I can't think of berries and menthol that I've tried but I got to review it more um, I would give in comparison to those a six but in reality if you do like blue raspberry uh, definitely would give it probably like a 8.5 to a 9 it is a really good raspberry pretty sweet not too sweet uh, I would give it a 9 for my personal comparison to all the other juices that I have that more meet my flavor profile I give it a six that's just me um, so essentially if you like blue raspberry definitely want to check it out anyways folks that has been milk and tea apparently but it's milk and honey and blue raspberry slushy i think it's it's a long word but it's the blue raspberry one and uh yeah by ohms vapor uh link will be down below directly to their salt line uh it's the equivalent of like three or four salt lines it's pretty pretty good um really dig it anyways folks thank you very much Still have a lot more of these Ohms Vapors to do. I've done four of the reviews, and they gave me, uh, I, I got 13 bottles of 10 milliliters. So, got to plow through these coils and these pods and try them out for you. Um, yeah. Up next is, oh, no, no, we just did Ohms Vapor. Next up is All Day Vapor. We're going to do two reviews, maybe three, in one video. Make it easier, because... I gotta bunch these up. I mean, it's... Mm. How can you be stressed with vaping? You know what I mean? Like, I can't get stressed. That's why I've been kind of taking breaks and, like, just enjoying my free time. But, like, man, I don't know how they do it when they, like, they actually pay you, so you gotta do it. You know what I mean? Like, I gotta review it. They paid to skip the queue. I gotta, fuck, I gotta do this or I don't get paid. Damn, that's gotta be stressful as shit. Ugh. I guess I'll keep working 50 hours, 60 hour weeks, make money instead of the easy life. But anyways, folks, stay next. Stay. English is my second language. Next video, all day vapors, perp thing, um, island things, and maybe one other. I'll see. I'll check if I did Moloha. I think I did that review. I'm getting old. By the way, guys, my birthday's next March eight, uh, March 18th, next Monday. Um, I don't give a shit, but yeah, I just thought of it, uh, you're gonna be the big 3-0, anyways, this video has, what, how, how many minutes, nine minutes of review, actually 30 seconds of an actual review, the rest of the nine or so minutes are, uh, just bullshit, but anyway, stay tuned for it, folks, I do appreciate it, I love y'all, I have to do a Wiccan talk one of these days when I get off at a normal time, maybe I'll do it Monday, because I'm off, but I have a bunch of shit I have to do, maybe Sunday, I don't know, we'll see, anyways, folks, I love you, I really do appreciate the subscribers and the followers and all that shit, um, I, I do it for fun, so I hope you enjoy it, I really don't care about anything, so... I just do it because it's fun and I hope you like it. Anyways, folks, this video is going to be in the YouTube fam, Facebook, 
chat thingy so stay tuned for that uh much love to all 20 of you that are really close that you can get it at. i don't know talk to me more i'll add you i don't give a shit anyways i'm gonna shut the fuck up Still a pretty good blue raspberry. Anyways, folks, more you later.